guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skim Crew. How's it going? So I just looked at the clock and I noticed it was 12-12 and today is 12-12. Uh, so um, I thought I'd do a 12-12 uh, portal reading. Um, I was debating doing that. I noticed that um, a reading I did last year, I think it was for the 1221 portal, um, somebody was commenting on it and I thought, hmm, maybe I should do a reading. So yeah, there's two gateways, um, one today and one on the 21st. Um, so let's just use that energy, that vibration to pull some messages from the collective. So I see my spirit guides, if you want to call it that, my angels, as you guys. All of you guys out there, you are the collective. You um, are here experiencing the exact same things that I'm here to experience. Um, so, you know, and also those who have passed over, but more or less I, I see my guidance as the collective energy. So, um, yeah, I'm asking you guys uh, to think about how you're feeling right now. Um, wow, the Six of Pentacles just flipped up. Okay, so compromise. Let's just see what kind of what cards kind of flip upping. I don't know if it'll do it again, but um, so I'm just gonna pull random cards, no positions. Collective, what do you? Okay, I already asked. What are you feeling? Um, What are your challenges? Slowing down. Similar card. Um, I think we got this card for the Twin Flame reading I just did. Okay, now I think I'll pull a couple cards from Call It Baron Reed. Enchanted Map. Or maybe just one for the masculine, one for the feminine. I think I'm feeling this is maybe union energies. I don't know. Um, I'm asking the collective energy, so actually let's keep it as a collective. No separation, no division. Um, so just one card from the Call It Baron Reed. What are our strengths? Come together, how beautiful. That's exactly it, right? Um, our b ability to connect with one another over vast distances. Um, you know, just that humans are born loving, right? Hatred is something that's taught. So that is our strength, our ability to come together. Our challenge is slowing down, and I have no idea what the first card means. What did I ask again? I can't remember. Um, how are we feeling. Okay. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything. So I'm just going to pull a card. Mending. So this is um, Call It Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, I think that's enough. And I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids as an overall message from the universe, which is the collective energy. Okay, this one, Nautilus Angel. Okay, so let's go through each card position here. Um, so compromise, the Six of Pentacles. This is about reciprocation, being open. Um, <laughs> I just had a thought. Uh, 
and never mind. <laughs> I may end up telling you the story, um, but let's just read the card first. Uh, so Six of Pentacles is the cohabitation card, reciprocation, sharing your life with somebody in the 3D reality. Um, but in the Osho Zen, of course, it has a different meaning. And I just realized I forgot to put the spotlight on, so you may not be able to see this that clearly. I apologize. Okay, so compromise. So don't be clever, otherwise you will remain the same. You will not change. Half techniques on the path of love and half techniques on the path of meditation will create much confusion in you. They will not help, but to ask for help is against the ego, so you try to compromise. This compromise will be more dangerous. Uh, it will confuse you more because, made out of, because it's made out of confusion. It will create more confusion. So try to understand why you hanker for compromise. Sooner or later, you will be able to understand that compromise is not going to help. And compromise may be a way of not going in either direction, or it may be just a repression of your confusion. It will assert itself. Never repress anything. Be clear-cut about your situation. And if you are confused, remember that you are confused. This will be the first clear-cut thing about you that you are confused. You have started on the journey. So... Um, what I'm feeling strongly is that sense of don't compromise yourself. You have, you know, within you this in intuitive knowing, right? And you're using that intuition to guide you, um, right? And so if you give a piece of yourself compromise, then you're lowering your value, right? So there's a sense of stay strong, stay convicted, um, but also, you know, give of yourself because you want to. Don't give of yourself because you have to, right? Don't make yourself less than, um, to make somebody else feel better. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, this card also talks about eunuchs, right? <laughs> and, uh, my cat is so freaking docile, and I'm like, oh my god, you poor little eunuch. But, you know, it takes away um, that sexuality, that, you know, passion. When you take away the ability to make love and reproduce and that kind of thing, there's no, um, there's no desire left in a person, right? So my, my cat, it's like he has no idea that he, you know that his desire to be with another cat is completely gone. He's just oblivious, almost numb to that fact. Um, so anyways, I don't know, I'm talking about my cat's balls, but let's move on to the next card. Oh, I get it. Give a piece of yourself. <laughs> All right, Annie, oh my God, that's terrible. Okay. So the next card is slowing down, and I asked, what is your weaknesses? So this is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So meditation is a kind of medicine. Its use is only for the time being. Once you have learned the quality, then you need not do any particular meditation then the meditation has to spread all over your life. So walking in Zen, sitting in Zen, then what will be the quality? Watchfully, alert, joyously, unmotivated, centered, loving, flowing, one walks. And the walking is sauntering, loving, alert, watchful. One sits, unmotivated, not sitting, for anything in particular, just enjoying how beautiful just sitting, doing nothing is, how relaxing, how restful. After a long walk, you sit under a tree and the breeze comes and cools you. Each moment, one has to be at ease with oneself, Try, not trying to improve, not cultivating anything, not practicing anything, walking in Zen, sitting in Zen, 
talking or silent, moving, unmoving. The essence is at ease. The essence is at ease. That is the key word. The essence is at ease. That is the key statement. Do whatsoever you are doing, but at the deepest core, remain at ease. Cool, calm, centered. Wow. So that's our challenge as a collective to be in Zen, be in a very peaceful state, be at ease, right? It, and it's really hard to do that because there are always things coming at us in the th 3D reality, right? So much stimulus is being thrown at us that it can cause us to feel confused, right? And so, again, the Knight of Pentacles is a movement and it's a very slow movement. Um, so we're always in a rush to get somewhere, right? So realizing that you are already at home, that you already have everything you desire, um, allows you to slow down and take things one step at a time. So that's our challenge. Okay, so our strength is come together. Perfect. Okay, so come together. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you are on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression, romantic, familiar, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and a take between you and a significant other a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you are attracting love into your life. This is a time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Beautiful. So what I'm feeling is like this ball of light, you know, growing larger and larger. Um, almost like a galaxy as it spins around, it draws, um, you know, suns together and mixes everything. So, you know, I feel this beautiful love coming from the collective and, you know, you're, you're celebrating that ability to love. Okay, so mending, there was no specific question that I had with that card, so I'm just going to read it. So I have the relationship message, prosperity message, or the oracle message. Let's do the oracle message. Okay, so forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. So it says each time uh, we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integrating, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal, the pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is a time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim our power. Now is a time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. Oh my God, I almost want to cry. I felt you guys saying that. That's in, wow, I'm kind of choked up actually. Woo. Okay, so reach out to those, you know, and just heal ourselves. Right? Um, heal the planet. And, you know, that's through love, acceptance. Okay, so. Um, the Missing Mermaids card. So this is number two. Okay, so it says, Nautilus Angel, let me be your angel. I'll watch over you. Oh my God. 
I'm choking up again because I, I know where this card is going. Okay. Okay, sorry. Let me be your angel. I'll watch over you with all the loving tenderness you gave to help me through. Let me hold your head up. I will guide your way. The way you... Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Let's do this again. Okay, so... Um, let me be your, let me hold your head up. I will guide your way, the way you led me through the maze when my steps went astray. Okay, and so what I was feeling really strongly with that is being held, being looked after, you know, a sense of connection with the world. Um, there's a vulnerability there, right? And it's almost like we are helping each other on this journey, one step at a time, right? We're all reaching out to connect with one another. And, and really, that's exactly what this reading is saying. Come together, open yourself up, share yourself, right? And I felt that very strongly, for sure, okay? I felt the love coming from you guys. You know, saying, come on guys, let's all get our shit together here. Let's mend our wounds as a collective, not just within ourselves, right? Okay, so a delicate angel with brown feathered wings lovingly embraces the shell of a nautilus. <clears throat> uh, though her eyes are wide with concern, the protective cradle of her arm suggests a true sense of guardianship and care. And that's kind of what I felt from you guys, like this big hug. Be prepared to accept help from others. Right now you have a lot on your plate, and it's getting difficult to tackle it on your own. Striving to be independent is admirable, but we are social beings, and at times we must rely on each other in order to thrive. Maybe you think asking for help is a sign of weakness, or you are afraid of being a burden. Just remember all the times you have given your help and advice and recognize that your, loved, that your loved ones will welcome the opportunity to reciprocate. By allowing others to support you physically and emotionally, you are contributing to a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving and allowing someone else the chance to experience how rewarding it is to do something nice for another. Wow. And this card really got to the heart of what this card means. Right, and, and this card as well, you know, all of them really has that same vibration um, of reaching out and connecting and healing each other. Okay, so, wow, <laughs> that was really powerful, guys. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'd like to hear your feedback, um, and I'm sending you so, so much love. All right, peace.